somber mood engulfed Chiroma Mochiri early Friday morning as families and friends of Garissa University College attack gathered to identify the bodies of their loved ones that were airlifted to Nairobi from Garissa. Photos of the fatalities that were brought at Chiromo Mortuary were taken and then put on the screen so that relatives can identify bodies of their loved ones. Parents, brothers and sisters broke down after positively identifying the bodies of their relatives gunned down by Al-Shabaab terrorists to storm the university early Thursday morning. For some, the shock was too hard to bear. While for those who didn't find their relatives in the first bunch of bodies delivered at the mortuary, the wait continued as more bodies were yet to be delivered at the mortuary. Jana tuleta maiti 20, leo tumeleta maiti 48 paka hivyo sasa. Kuna 44 nyingine ziko njiani zinakuja kutoka Garissa, alafu tunafikiri kutakuwa na safari ya mwisho leo jioni. Kwa hivyo ujumla hatujua atakuwa ni wangapi mwishowe. Kenya Red Cruise officials won't stand by to cancel the relatives who turned up to identify the bodies. They also set up an information desk at Mochery to assist relatives and next of kin of the victims. Vile vile tuna uh, ile counseling center na tuna tracing center ambayo mtu ambaye alikuwa anatafuta mpendwa wake alikuwa ametupa taarifa tuko na center garisa tuko naye hapa serikali pia inataka kutengeneza nyingine upande huo wa nyayo stadium kwa hivyo baadaye nafikiri by kesho Mungu akipenda itakuwa hii shughuli itakuwa imekwisha Joseph Baraza was among relatives who thronged Chiromo to identify the bodies of their relatives Barasa and his father were here to look for his sister Diana Barasa, a second-year student who was studying education at the university. Joseph has always been in contact with his sister, lost contact yesterday with Diana as her phone was off. We were here for a while, so we were here for tuangalie ka wanaweza patikana juu tukijaribu simu ashiki so tumekuwa wale kabisa tujui tutafanya nini tunataka uzaitis kabisa na hivi tukipata kwamba ni mzima hapo tutafurahia lakini sasa tumeshindwa tutafanya nini juu zime yake hapatikani Al Shabaab have already claimed responsibility for the attack, saying that it was revenge for the raids that were carried out by Kenyan security forces in Somalia. It was a difficult moment for relatives and friends who came to identify the bodies of their loved ones was shot yesterday by Al Shabaab at Garissa University. For some of them, they came here with the hope of not finding their loved ones over here, but only to be told that their loved ones were dead. For Ebro Africa TV, at Chiromo Mochery in Nairobi, I'm Brenda Zeda Radido.